And tonight, Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards, Congressman Ralph Abraham, and businessman Eddie Rispone take the stage to try and convince voters on why they should lead the state for the next four years. Harrison Golden is in Baton Rouge sharing a preview. Good evening as we continue those finishing touches before tonight's big show. All three participating candidates here have plenty at stake here tonight, including Governor John Bell Edwards looking to prove that a Democrat can not only win the governorship in the Deep South, but keep it for the next four years. But he has two Republican challengers, though, here tonight, one of whom, Eddie Rispone, a Baton Rouge businessman in his first public office bid. We spoke to him earlier in his first TV News sit-down interview about that campaign. I'm going to go out and tell the rest of the country and all of our job creators in Louisiana, for that matter, that we're open for job creation again. Eddie Rispone likens his bid to that of another businessman, whose White House win, he says, woke up America. I think when Trump did it, it really became apparent to the rest of the country what could happen when you have an outsider and a conservative, someone with serious business skills, someone who's not beholden to special interests. I'm Eddie Rispone, and I stand with President Trump. One of his latest campaign ads questions how supportive another Republican hopeful is of the president. Rispone argues Congressman Ralph Abraham wanted Trump to exit the 2016 race. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. After a vulgar video emerged with talk of groping women. Trump came back and apologized for it. All the Republican delegation of Louisiana said it was inappropriate, but they didn't ask him to step aside and as, as a nominee against Hillary Clinton and let Pence take it. That's, that's the political side of this. Abraham's team calls Rispone's remarks baseless and untrue. The TIFF marks a shift from the more tame rapport the Republicans had shared. It boils down to that, just touching those people, talking to them about the issues. Uh, you know, they're wringing their hands uh, when they're sitting around that kitchen table trying to pay the bills. There's just not enough money left at the end of the month. We've got to get the jobs. John Bell Edwards insists that he's made compromises on tax and spending measures with Republicans over the past four years, and he's ready to do it again. I feel like we will be able to have the same opportunity uh, to work with the next legislature just as we have uh, in this term. Uh, and I'm actually excited about the opportunity because our state is better off today by far relative to where we were four years ago. We're here at LSU for your local election headquarters. I'm Harrison Golden. All right, Harrison, thank you very much. And you can watch that debate right here on NBC6 tonight at 7 o'clock. Our own Jackie Jovic will be one of the moderators. You can also find profiles on each of the candidates on our website, arclatechshomepage.com. Just click on your local election headquarters.